so every year the pieces I think get better and better and um, I like that. We are the community's college, and so I think the President's Art Shows, the distinction is that it's a statewide call, and we bring in artists from all around the state to our campus to really highlight their work and, and let them know that we care and we recognize their work and we want to showcase it. We thought that since the college has an excellent art program, there should be excellent art all around the college, and so we use the show to not only attract excellent artist, but to actually purchase pieces for the permanent collection of the college, which now is about 375 pieces. I find this event very exciting. I love being at the art show. This is one of my favorite things that I get to participate in as a college employee. Um, I am so thrilled to be in this new space. You know, last year we kind of inaugurated this space with the art show. It was part of the opening of the Center for Arts and Media. Um, and so last year we were working out a lot of the details of having art in new space and this year I feel like we really learned how to use the space. We acquired new panels which are very professional, very easy to use and really show the art well. was one of the people who volunteered to take in some of the art. Um, as it started to come in, as the pieces started to come in, um, the excitement was building already and I couldn't wait to see them hanging up like they are now. And uh, um, there were definitely some pieces that, that just, um, that really struck me, you know, viscerally, you know, like you just had an immediate connection to them. Uh, and it had nothing to do with meeting the artists, it was just, you know, the, the, the works were just incredible. Art is very personal, you know. Some people love color, some people like landscape, and but it, and it has to connect with you when you look at the, the art. Um, I love, I'm, I'm an artist and I'm a, I'm a designer, so I do enjoy color. Um, and I like something to be, I, I like unusual, unusual, something that's unusual. Um, but, well, I can tell you actually, I love that painting behind me because the just the trees and the red and the green and the yellow it just it's beautiful it makes me happy looking at it it makes them smile and i've actually had other people tell me this is me and my husband when we're dead so <laughs> it really works out because i really like they feel the same thing this is after we go to a day of the dead festival and they can relate with it so i'm kind of it's awesome that they kind of i've been told that before <laughs> So really it's in humor and it's fun and it's, it's a, I hope that people smile when they see it. Yeah, this is my piece of art. I actually started with some string right here that would connect in, the, in case we had to hang it up on a hook or then I used a napkin to put the string on. Then I got some double-sided tape and taped the paper on it that, um, kept it from being so sticky so you could peel it off. And then I put this on here, and then I used some co cookie box to put on here. And that's really it. But I think it's really creative. It's actually based on a lot of Polish poster art. So there is, there is a huge movement in Poland where artists do a lot of poster art, and that's the inspiration for that. So my inspiration for this piece I took a photo on my way home in a rainstorm and the sun was setting and I thought the sky was just really beautiful. And I'd been hoping to do a, a cityscape um, and kind of started out uh, very different than it ended up, but I think the, I think the high contrast is really what like drags your eye to it. 
I think the traits that I admire in artists is just their vision, something that they can see, a piece of clay or a, a blank canvas, um, and they can pick up a pen or any medium that they work in and create something from their mind's eye. I, I think I have vision, I can think of things that I would want to see, but then to be able to put that on paper or on o with oil or through metal or sculpt clay, I just, I have no idea how, I think I could do that and then I try to do it and it's a disaster. So their ability to take from their mind and create it is just striking to me. My intention in connecting people to these pieces, um, I guess it came from my connection to these pieces. They're, I did a whole series based on seed pod forms that I just would find in nature and they were just very attractive forms to me. And through feedback that I've gotten that a lot of people have the same attraction and people come up and say, oh, I recognize this. I've seen this one before in the wild. I like to put my artwork in the President's Art Show because uh, it's a local, um, locally relevant to me. I mean, I actually attended Salt Lake Community College and um, got a lot out of it. And it's my way of kind of connecting with the community that fostered my, my trajectory, if you will. I really love that it's open to the whole entire community. It's not just students, but it's professionals. It's from all walks of life, like everybody is included. And I love that everybody has their own story. So I think that's cool. I would highly encourage everybody to get on this bandwagon, be creative, make artwork, and uh, present it, bring it, make it happen. Always submit. You really never know what the jury is thinking, ever. And there were certain things that like I loved, but maybe someone else didn't love as much. Even though everything was great, um, really anyone can get in and you never know like when uh, you'll make it I guess or when someone will buy your work or if you can find a niche and so honestly for all the artists out there just apply just submit